The Romani language, e Romani ship, a secret Indian language that happens to be the only new Indian language spoken exclusively outside of the Indian subcontinent. Now, the Romani language is an integral part of Romani identity. However, very few people know where it actually originates from. That's what I'm here for. Daven Bachtale. I'm a Romani speaker and I'm here to tell you about the history of the Romani language. Now let's start with the origins. Romani is an Indo-Iranian language, part of the greater Indo-European language family. That means it shares a common ancestor with most of the languages of Europe and India to this day. More specifically, Romani is an Indic or Indo-Aryan language, like Hindi, Bengali, Gujarati, Punjabi, Sinhala, and so on. Now Romani, along with these other languages, share a common ancestor in the ancient language of Sanskrit. A common misconception is that Romani is directly descended from Sanskrit. However, Sanskrit is an old Indian language and Romani is a new Indian language. Romani is descended from the middle Indian languages known as the Prakrit languages. According to linguists, the Romani language started out as either a central Indian language like Hindi or a western Indian language like Gujarati or the Rajasthani languages such as Marwari. Then, sometime in the Middle Ages, the Romani people migrated upwards into northwestern India, where they spoke northwestern Indian languages, such as Punjabi or Sindhi. That is where the Romani language became a hybrid between northwestern Indian influences and central and western Indian influences. Romani people stayed in northwestern India until at least the year 1000 in the Common Era. We know this because Romani is a new Indian language. That means it underwent a linguistic shift that most of the Indian languages went through around that time period of 1000 in the Common Era. Modern researchers have connected the Romani language with some Rajasthani languages such as Marwari and Lambari. They've also connected it with Domari, which is the language of the Middle Eastern Gypsies. However, now researchers conclude that Domari is a separate Central Indian language from Romani and that they're separated by a few centuries at least. Now, when Romani people migrated from India to Europe, they picked up a lot of loanwords in the countries they traveled in. For example, Romani has a lot of Persian, Armenian, and especially Greek loanwords. A common misconception about the Romani language is that it's just one language. However, once Romani people migrated into Europe and split up all over Europe, it became a macro language. There are five different groups of the Romani language scattered throughout Europe that are considered to be distinct enough to be their own language. In addition, there are also various mixed Romani languages, such as Anglo-Romani in England, mixing English and Romani, and Gallo in Spain, mixing Spanish and Romani. Romani dialects vary from country to country, often taking loanwords from the countries they live in, because all Roma are at least bilingual. That means they speak the Romani language, but they also speak the host language of the country they live in. This is because Romani is considered a secret or hidden language, or better yet, a closed practice. So why do we consider our language to be secret, hidden, or a closed practice? Well, it all goes back to our history of oppression and persecution once we entered Europe. We have a saying in our culture that in a sea of non-Roma, a Romani person's only defense is his language. Our language is our strength, and historically that has held true. During the 500 years of chattel slavery that we discussed in the previous episode, enslaved Roma would use our secret language, which the enslavers couldn't understand, to talk amongst themselves, and do stuff such as craft escape routes. Our language was the only way they could safely communicate on how to find protection, safety, food, and other things they needed for survival. And because of this, the Romani language became criminalized. So the enslavers, when hearing the Romani people speak the language, would cut off their tongues. This is why traditionally, Romani people don't even speak the language in front of non-Roma. And in other places in Europe, such as Spain and Hungary, the Romani language was also criminalized as well. This is why there are entire clans and groups of Romani people that don't speak the Romani language. All around Europe, Romani people were persecuted and still are to this day. This is why all around Europe, Romani people keep our language secret or hidden as a defense mechanism. Some Europeans tried to take advantage of that fact by forcing a Romani person to teach them the language so that they can gain the trust of other Romani people and take advantage of them. A notable and tragic example of this was the Nazi scientist Eva Justin, who learned the Romani language as a way to exploit the Romani people into doing her messed up experiments. The Roma thinking she was one of us, 
because they thought everyone who spoke the language was Roma, agreed to do our messed up experiments and be treated like animals, only to be sent to concentration camps afterwards when she was done with them. And even to this day, police officers in certain parts of Eastern Europe learn the Romani language in order to exploit the Romani people and enforce police brutality in their neighborhoods. And that's why the Romani language remains a secret or closed practice to this day, because our oppression never stopped, our persecution still continues, and it's still a necessity for many Roma's safety that it remain a closed practice. Of course, translating a few words here and there isn't really a big deal, but actually teaching the language to non-Romani people is highly frowned upon in our culture. Of course, Romani being an Indian language, there are a lot of words that are almost exactly the same as other Indian languages, and those are the only words I will be sharing here today out of respect for our closed practice. Let's start off with counting one through five. Yek, dui, trin, star, panch. Now, if you speak an Indian language, that may sound very, very familiar to you. A lot of Romani words have exact cognates in other Indian languages. For example, the word for water is pani. The word for snake is sap. The word for look is dik. Even looking at my face right now, the word for nose is nak. The word for eye is yak. The word for ear is kan. The word for hair is bal. And if my hair was black, I would say kale bal. Some of the more regional examples is, for example, the word for wedding in both Romani and the Rajasthani language of Marwari is biav, or my dialect, abiao. And the word for hurt in the Romani language and the Lambadi language of the nomadic Banjara people of Rajasthan is the same, duk. Also some religious terms, like for cross we say trishul, and for priest we say rashai from the term rishi. Now what would a video on the Romani language by an actual Romani speaker be if I didn't actually speak the language for you? So I'm going to share an old folk proverb with you from the Romani language, but I'm not going to translate it because it's closed. But you'll still have the opportunity to hear what the Romani language sounds like being spoken. And if you speak a South Asian language, you might pick up on a few words. The Romani language is now spoken all over Europe and the Americas, including Latin America, and also in some parts of Western Asia, such as Turkey and Iran, where there's the Zargari people, which are Balkan Roma that migrated from Bulgaria to Iran during the Ottoman times. Notably, however, Romani isn't spoken in the Indian subcontinent, making it the only new Indian language to be spoken exclusively outside of the subcontinent. But yet, after all that time away, dealing with constant persecution, oppression, slavery, and criminalization, we still kept our beautiful Indian language intact, as a reminder of where we come from and our cultural perseverance and strength. This has been another episode of Romani History by a Romani Person. I sincerely hope you learned something new and that you enjoyed. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit post notifications so you don't miss any new content. And comment down any new ideas that you'd like to learn about. Devlesa!